Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to root your LG G3 on one of the latest firmwares here. Uh, in this case, the D855 has the version 20i on it. And that one, well, the previous methods I talked about in some of my videos uh, no longer work for this. So today we'll be taking a look at another method here. So before we begin, this one should work for most, if not all, of the LG G3s out there on pretty much their latest firmwares. So today I'll be doing it on the D855 and I'll show you how to do that right now. So you want to go to your phone and you want to go into settings. So there are a few things we have to do before we can start. So go to the general tab and then go down to about phone and then hit software info and then tap the build number until you see that you are now a developer. Hit back and back again and you want to enable USB debugging just over here like so. Okay, sweet. So once you have that done, that we now need to do a few things on the computer here. So first off, you want to go over to the internet, and I'll provide these two links down below. You'll need the LG Android USB device drivers. So I'll provide a link down here, and just scroll down just a little bit and download the 3.11 drivers here. And you can just save them to a folder. I'm going to save them to my Android folder. So if you have a specific folder for this, it would be better just to keep things in one place. So that's in my Android folder. And the second thing you want to download is of course the the routing method. So we just scroll down here and okay. So we're going to be using the one click uh, routing script. So it gives us takes us to a mega website. And we'll just hit download through your browser. Only about 5 megabytes, so both of these shouldn't take too long. The drivers have almost finished. And this will be finished quite soon as well. And um, after this, the rooting process, I'll also show you how to flash TWRP right from your device using AutoRec, available on the Play Store, which also supports a lot of different devices. So after all this, I'll show you how to get TWRP on it. So I'll be back when all the downloads finish. Alrighty, so just make sure you save all your files into pretty much around the same place. If not, make a new folder as well, just to keep things organized. I'm just going to call this the G3. And we're going to save our root method in there. Alrighty, and our drivers have pretty much finished. It just needs to save it onto the SD card. Alrighty, so both of these have finished downloading. And in Android, so first things first, you want to install the drivers here. Let's just zoom in a bit. You want to you want to install drivers here. So you just run that, and it installs pretty quickly. Just hit yes to this prompt. And we'll just let the uh, install shield wizard do its thing. And we'll hit next. So you can see the drive installation is pretty quick and pretty much no hassle as well. Hopefully we don't need a restart for this, but if we do, that would be all right. So right now we can just close our internet uh, or Chrome. We'll just let that finish doing whatever it wants to do. So further on moving, we'll go to where we saved our root method and we're just going to right click and hit extract here. So extract the files of that. Should come in another folder called that as well, the root method. And all we need to do is hit root.bat. Not yet. We would, we'll need to plug in our device and wait for this to finish, of course. So we hit finish. And I'm just going to zoom out here a little bit more and just rotate it a little bit. So what you want to do is grab your phone, plug in the USB. Okay, so I think the key to this, I tried it once and it worked, but uh, during the process, you want to keep your phone unlocked, not on the lock screen, for this to work the best, I believe. So now you just plug in your USB on the side, near the top. Helps if you can see where it is, and have the USB the right way. 
radio. So you can see a little Android icon up there, uh, which means USB debugging is enabled. And before we continue further, we we should check whether our computer has detected our phone. So just head over to Device Manager, right click on your start button. Cool, vibrating a little bit, that's fine. And you want to see your phone connected like this. So it has LGE Mobile ADB interface. Uh, if it doesn't, for any chance, you just hit right click it and should be install or update driver software and browse my computer and then let me pick from a list of drivers on my computer and it would have a whole list and you just have a look at this and just select the ADB interface alright so now we're ready and just keep your phone near you at all times so you're always unlocked and all you need to do is run the root.bat and we shall start now So right now it's starting the ADB server, and also you should allow, or you have to allow this, make sure you check that box and hit OK, so it gets all the uh, processes, all the commands. So right now it's just, it pushed the files there, and it's looking for the LG serial port. Okay, so you want to unlock it, just in case. And it should find it, if not, uh, I just tried it again. Okay, sweet, so it has done that, and now it's going to reboot our phone into download mode, in which it'll run the root script. Okay, so it looks like this, and you can see there, uh, if you might not be able to, but it says if you don't see the Super SU installer script run within about a minute, then the root failed. So that's alright, we're just going to sit here and wait for things to happen on our command here. So it's doing something. Extracting Super SU, installing Super SU. I guess assume this one takes the longest. Remounting system and cleaning up. So right now it says press control C to exit. I'm not going to type in any commands just in case, so we're going to press control C and this will ask to terminate the batch job. You just hit Y and hit enter and our command prompt will disappear. And now, since that's finished, just unplug your phone from the computer here. And then you want to take off the back cover and pull out the battery. Like so. And then plug that back in. Oops. And then turn it on. Turn it up all the way, and we're just going to take a look. So we have SuperSU here. And it runs perfectly. So now, Time to test it out. We're gonna we're going to flash TWRP now. So go ahead and go to your Play Store and press the search button and you're gonna type in auto rec. Just like that. Hit enter or search. And you're gonna see all these lollipops here. And basically you wanna find the model number that you have here, where whether it be the D855, D805, 50, 801, things like that. You can see a whole list of it and it goes on for a little while, so select the one that is most appropriate for you, in this case mine's the D855, make sure it's for Lollipop as well, hit install, and accept the uh, license, oh sorry, the permissions, and it's just going to download here, 40 megabytes, which includes the recovery, which is generally about, I'd say around 30 megabytes these days, and it's pretty simple, you hit flash TWRP from the screenshots, and I'll be back when this download finishes. Alrighty, so AutoRec has finished installing, just need to open and then hit grant to the Super SU prompt and that's just going to prepare the things a little bit which include, so when you hit flash TWRP I think it backs up your stock recovery too 
Uh, so, oops. Okay, so back up in progress. Which I assume might take a little while. There we are. So now we can flash TWRP. So go ahead and touch that lollipop. And now it's going to flash TWRP. You can see our Super SU grant there. And that's it. So thanks to Bender uh, on XDA. So now to boot into recovery, what you need to do is... So this is the test. So power off your phone, and we're going to do, do it the old-fashioned way, where we press um, the power and volume down, then turn on that method. So there is another way if you get an app on the Play Store that reboots it for you. So now it's off, we're going to hold... So it's volume down and the power button until you see the LG logo and then you let go of the buttons at the back and press it again. And which we'll that should get you into the recovery menu. Here we are. So it's gonna say factory data reset. But we're gonna hit yes because it's uh it's uh sorry, original recovery has been replaced by TWRP, uh, that should not happen. So in this case this should bring us into the TWRP there we are, our menu. So cool, that's it for this video guys, hope you enjoyed it. And this is how you get TWRP on your LG G3. So if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please feel free to leave a like down below. And also subscribe if you'd like to see more of these. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.